This is lecture 47 based on fifth unit for subject digital signal processing. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about sub band coding for speech signal. Okay. So, let us start with some important points related to this sub band coding. Okay. So, let us discuss some points. It is it is a method where the speech signal is subdivided into several frequency band okay so as the name suggesting is sub band okay so jo aapka pura uh, band hai that is dividing into several frequency band and each band is digitally encoded separately okay so what do you have to do Aapka jo sub pura band hai, that uh, you divided this sub band uh, this band into sub divided part and un, jo bhi divided kar, sub divided part hai, unko individually encoded okay encode kar diya aapne, okay so let's see in this figure we have this response okay so according to this figure you can see this is a response omega that is the magnitude and there is two response h not z h not omega and h 1 omega so you can see that is the your uh, low pass and here is your high pass frequency okay so that is okay so at this point the range is uh, the frequency the omega is pi by 2 and here you are getting uh, this pi okay so, filter design particularly important in achieving good performance in subband coding. Okay. So, aliasing resulting from decimation of the subband signal must be negligible. Okay. So, when you do the subband coding, okay, because if I talk about this, you have divided this first into part and the second. So, this is the term, okay. this is the here aliasing will come. Okay. So, that should be minimum, okay. this should be our motive. Okay. A particular solution to the aliasing problem, it is use quadrature mirror, mirror filter QMF. Okay. So, quadrature mirror filter which have the frequency response as shown in figure above. So, this is just uh, for the response for quadrature mirror filter. Okay. So, basically we want to remove this portion okay this uh, green portion it should be negligible okay now the synthesis, uh, the synthesis method for the subband encoded speech signal is basically the reverse of the encoding process okay the signal is adjacent low pass and high pass frequency bands are interpolated, filtered, combined as shown in the diagram. Okay. So, the diagram is uh, below. So, basically three steps, what are they? Interpolated, filtered and combined. Okay. So, you can see over here, okay, the, that is a sub band piece coder over here, but we have high pass filter we have uh, this uh, sorry we have this this one is low pass and this one high pass and this speech signal is going to both of them okay now what you have to do decimation okay so decimeter you have at s d equal to 2 so decimation by 2 then for this you have lpf hpf d equal to decimation again decimation then encode it encoder then to the channel to the channel. Okay. Here you are directly giving this for encoding and forward to the channel. So, this is one of the example for sub band speech coder. Okay. A pair of quadrature mirror filter is used in the signal synthesis for each octave of the signal. Clear? So, this is your diagram 
Okay. Now, sub encoding is also as uh, also an, an effective method to achieve data compression because you are doing some decimation. Okay. So, you know when you do the decimation you can compress the your data. So, data compression in image signal processing by combining sub encoding with the uh, your uh, vector quantization for each sub and signal. Okay. In general, sub encoding of signal is an effective method for achieving bandwidth comparison compression in each digital representation of the signal when the signal energy is constructed in a particular region of the frequency band. Okay. So, this is the block diagram basically. Okay. So, in exam whenever they are going to ask about this sub band coding. So, you have to draw this diagram. Okay. So, in uh, this is uh, uh, in which you are using some uh, firstly as you know there are three step interpolated filter and combine. Okay. So, you are at this point you are encoding all the three. Okay. So, basically you have one speech signal, but you are dividing into uh, you are processing in this manner. Okay. So, you are giving in this low pass, you are, you are giving the here you are giving the high pass filter, then again decimation, then low pass, high pass, for again decimation by 2 encoding, encoding again here, here you are encoding. So, these are the okay, sub band speech coder. So, you can see here one term is coder is coming. So, you are coding some speech signal in the different different form. Okay. So, this is all about this lecture. Thank you students.